What's up guys? Okay, so let's say every morning you get in to start your machine or your car or your truck and the battery's dead. Something's draining the battery. Let's say you replace the alternator, you replace the batteries and it's still, it, it's charging, but every morning it doesn't start for you. Well, you probably have a drain somewhere. I'm gonna show you one little tip, which is normally what I do to figure out, um, you know, if you indeed have a drain or something shorting out. So this is what we're gonna do. And again, you could do the same concept on whatever type of machine it is this just happens to be a John Deere loader but you could do this on your car as well uh, what we're gonna do is this one has two batteries we're gonna take off uh, if you just have one battery you just want to take off your ground I'm gonna take off both of these grounds really fast all right now that I got my negatives removed from the battery we're gonna take our test light here and what you want to do is we're gonna clamp this end up to our negative wire there and then we're gonna take this end of the test light and we're gonna put it right inside the terminal there now if this were to light up that's telling you that you have you definitely have a drain um, you should not be getting power through here but that's the uh, spot on indicator that you have a short somewhere and it's draining your battery so what you want to do now and you probably might need somebody to help you if this light is on is you want to find your fuse box and this this will help you kind of narrow down where to start looking otherwise you're going to be under the hood um and and, and checking wires and wiggling things for hours so when this is lit up go to your fuse box now I'm up here in my machine. This is where the fuse box happens to be, but you'll have to find where the fuse uh, panel is located in your vehicle or your machine. All right, and what you wanna do now is you can start by pulling out one fuse at a time. So let's say this is the dome light and you pull this fuse out and your helper out there tells you that the light went off. Well, that narrowed it down. That's gonna tell you where to start looking. Um, so go through every single fuse, pull them out, and when that light goes off, that's where you start looking in the wiring for that. So let's just say it was the dome light, then you would wanna start checking your dome light wiring, seeing if you got a short there. It could be in your turn signal switch, it could be in your uh, windshield wiper switch. Um, something could be shorting out or staying on, which is draining that battery, but that's the really the straightforward uh, simple way to go about it to find that uh, that drain rather quickly rather than again sitting under the hood jiggling wires and sitting over the test light trying to search this thing you'll drive yourself crazy so I would do that first um, hopefully this tip helps and uh, please guys if you could hit subscribe below give me a thumbs up I'll see you next time